Who's ready for Monster Jam? Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video, and today we have another eBay purchase. So, uh, this might be the biggest eBay purchase that I have so far in this uh, series. I think we are on number 21, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, right now, we'll get the box in here. This is a very big and tall box. We'll set it down like that. Um, I mean, it's uh, four pounds, eight, ounce, eight ounces. So, I mean, here, I'll move the tripod back a little bit more. But, I mean, yeah, look, that's the size of the box. Here, I'll hold um, I'll hold my hand up to it, kind of. So, yeah, a very big box. I know exactly what's in here. Oh, yeah, there you can see my NFL uh, poster. All right, there we go. That's better. All right, so uh, this is a very big box. I know exactly what's in here. I did order some trucks on eBay from a very, uh, from a very good seller that I bought in trucks from. Oh, and I just realized that it, it's got some uh, damage. Hmm. Oh, well, he did say a couple of these cards are, like, loose. He asked if I was one of, if I was the carded collector, and no, I am not a carded collector. I mean, I do have some trucks carded, of course, but I mainly bought these trucks to, uh, these Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks just to open. So, you know, he even put the handle with Care Fragile. Thank you. I mean, that's awesome. I wish I got some of those stickers, but, yeah, still got a little bit damaged, but... Still got a little bit dam of damage, but that's completely fine. So, uh, without further ado, let's uh, let's get unboxing, shall we? Okay, looks like we hit a spot. Lift the package up like this, and uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. All right. All right, we're going to set this down. What in? I never asked for Sour Patch Kids. That's actually really funny. Well, um, thank you to the seller for this. I never asked for Sour Patch, but hey, I'll, uh, I'll gladly take them. All right, so what do we got up in here? Of course, we got bubble wrap. Actually, fun fact, if you all don't know, my dog, Rogan, uh, my French bulldog, he has appeared in quite a few videos, but um, he, ab he absolutely loves bubble wrap, so I'll probably give that to him. I mean, down there, you can see a little bit of, little bit of the card, but um, yeah, we'll get right into it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. now take a look at that. We got some good trucks in here. Looks like we got maybe some 2004 trucks. Yeah, how about that? All right, we're going to start off here with number one. Um, I th yeah, I, I think I'm actually just going to take the trucks out like this. Well, once I reveal this truck, you'll see the truck behind it, and it will kind of, uh, you know, give away the trucks. But uh, we'll just go along with it. Why not? All right. So, yeah, see what I mean about the card? Yeah, that's completely fine. Uh, and I cannot move the box farther back. Darn. Um, here, what we'll do is we'll just, eh, that's not really going to work either. Okay, well, maybe we'll just take the trucks out. Yeah, we'll just go like that. All right, that one's opened. That one has the open card. That's fine. Get this one out of the way. There's the next one. Oh, you can see that one. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it. You got a lot of packaging here. Now that's a nice truck. I probably should be showing y'all like what trucks we have in here. And then we'll do like an in-depth graphics review on it later. Uh, there you go. Here's the next one. Oh, I remember which one this is. Uh, which one could this one be? Oh, I know what that one is. Okay. There's the back on that one. This one already got shown, but oh well. Pretty cool. We got a couple more trucks back here. Yeah, we got ourselves a big box today, y'all. Oh, and there go the trucks. Oh well. Uh, here's that one.
There's the next one. Pretty sweet. Oh, you can kind of see that one, but hey. Oh well, if I bring it out into the, if I bring it out to the light, y'all know what which, uh, y'all know uh, which one this will be. But there's that that one. I am running out of room with these trucks, y'all. So you know. All right. And then the final one, which is right here. And uh, there's the final one. Oh, boy, man, I wish it was that Blue Edge Glow Full War, but nope, it's not. Sorry to spoil it, but it ain't. All right, I'm going to move the box out of here. All right. Oh, you can see outside the window. All righty, so we got, some, we got some Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks right here. So, uh, you know what? Yeah, let's go in depth on all of these. Um, I don't know which one I pulled off first, so we're just gonna. T I'm just gonna take all the trucks and just set them off to the side. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do this. I'll look back in the video to see what the first one that I unboxed was, and then we'll start that. Well, yeah, we'll do a separate video on unboxing these trucks. But right now, we're just going to do an um, in-depth uh, review on the trucks. Uh, we'll move that one back here. Uh, this one back here as well. We got three more. We'll move this one back. Um, and we'll move this one back here. All right. So, I still can't believe I got Sour Patch Kids. That's actually really funny. Alrighty, here's the first one. So if you if you guys can tell, this is a 2004. Uh, wait, let me see. Oh yeah, this is a 2004 uh, Big Hub truck. Uh, you guys can tell that this is the Big Hub series because of the different wheels that uh, they put on the back of this card. So just in case, uh, I'll just say the names of the trucks on these cards because I don't think I'll be getting any more of these anytime soon. But you have the uh, Small Hub Grave Digger that looks like the one from the Costco uh, six pack, uh, which I actually have. That might be one of the rarest trucks I have. Thanks to Monster Gem Collector 2007 once again for that. You have Small Hub Great Bite. You have the Big Hub's Black Stallion. There is another Big Hub truck from 2004 I want to get. Uh, Jurassic Attack Big Hubs, uh, that's the Small Hub Maximum Destruction, Small Hub Ninja Blade, a Big Hubs Ninja Blade would be sweet. Um, you got uh, the Small Hub Destroyer, Small Hub Tass, Small Hub Eradicator, now a Big Hubs Eradicator would have been sweet. Small Hub Super Trucker, I don't have the Small Hub version, but I have the Big Hub version, that was one of my most desired 2004 trucks I wanted to get. Uh, you have the Small Hub Cyborg, which I have, I also have the Big Hub version. Um, and then you have uh, Monster Mind Big Hubs. Then over here you have Pure Adrenaline Small Hub. That's uh, the 2004 Small Hub truck I have on the card. Mint on card. And then you have the Small Hub uh, Purple Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Uh, Small Hub Little Miss Dangerous. A Big Hub Little Miss Dangerous would have been sweet. Small Hub 5 -0. Uh I believe that is Small Hub Shocker. Then a Big Hubs Expelled would have been really sweet. So... Uh, there you guys go. Those are the trucks that are on the back, and I just realized I had the truck up, uh, like, I had the truck, like, right here, so I'll move, I'll move it closer, and this will probably be my most, um, this will probably be a very long video, so y'all, please just do, stick with me on this. Uh, you got the Crashzilla. I have seen this, um, I have seen this, uh, place that appear on eBay, like, two times, but for a ridiculous amount of money. Crash and Smash. I have the Crash and Smash Chillin' Villain. 164 skill, you know, it's the truck that we have. Uh, rev treads, I do have a couple rev treads, and I don't know what the heck that grave digger is. It looks like a big grave digger. Then you have the crank and crush. How about that? All right, so this is a 2004 truck. What truck do you guys think this is? It is the 2004 Big Hubs Bounty Hunter. Yes, Bounty Hunter. Um, I do have this truck in small hubs. I actually got this truck for, I think it was my 2017 Christmas haul. Yeah, so, pretty, uh, you know, a long time ago. But uh, I've been wanting this truck. I wanted all the two extreme racing trucks. You know, uh, this SUV style, like, with Big Hubs. So, uh, I don't have Scarlet Bandit in Big Hubs or Small Hubs, so that'll probably be the next one that I need, to, I need to get. But, oh wait, no, I do have Scarlet Bandit Big Hubs. I just don't have uh, the Small Hub Scarlet Bandit. But uh, this is number 26 from 2004, Bounty Hunter. Uh, card is actually really sweet. Uh, these old cards tend to, you know, not, not 
you know, they're not as good, but, uh, so there's number one out of 12. Yes, we have 12 trucks, uh, Bounty Hunter. You cannot forget about the Sour Patch Kids. So Sour Patch Kids technically is number one, but oh well. Alrighty, uh, let's do, let's do this one, shall we? All right, here's the next one. This was the one that had the open card. I, this one really does not matter with me. All right, so this is a 2014 truck. You remember when they had the off-road tab on the side? <laughs> I remember that. I don't know what case this is either, um, but you have the King, uh, King Crunch Track Ace tires. I was actually, I mean, a lot of people hated the Track Ace. I actually kind of liked them. You know, for the sign-up series, they were pretty good. Um, you know what? That might be another series I should uh, track down. Right now, I'm trying to track down all the holiday trucks. I'm still trying to get all the Easter Beast trucks carded. A lot of stuff going on. And then you have the, the Edge Glow uh, Grave Digger. You have the new look, uh, 2014 Patriot, uh, with the new uh, new look, as they say right there. Then you have uh, Tasmanian Devil, Taz's uh, evil uh, brother. And then you have the Mud Trucks, uh, or sorry, the Mud Treads Full Bore. Uh, I think that's the new tool version. Track Ace Grave Digger, uh, Edge Glow Illuminator, and then you have the new tool Virginia Giant. So what truck do you guys think this is? I also cannot mention, forget to mention about the Maximum Destruction Battle Playset. All right, what truck do y'all think this is? It is the Patriot. Yes, I have the 2012 version. That was another truck I got in my 2017 Christmas haul. So I wanted to get the, I've been wanting to get this new look Patriot for quite some time. And y'all know that this truck is open. Yeah, it is open. The card is open. That's all right. And this is when Patriot was, uh, the Patriot was celebrating 10 years. So this is the special uh, body that they uh, used. I'm really excited. This is a really cool truck. So uh, yeah, there's number two out of 12, the Patriot. All right, let's do number three out of 12. This one, technically, I already showed, but hey, we'll just go with it. Why not? All right, so this is a 2013 truck. Yet again, I do not remember what case this is, but it did have the uh, vintage Excalibur, uh, the Mud Treads uh, Old Tool Full Bore, yet again. Uh, the Spectre Flame Stone Crusher, Batman, oh, sorry, Batman. Then you have the uh, X-Ray uh, Grave Digger. This is the one with the black body and then you have the the first edition the first editions of a uh, bad habit when it came out in 2013 and i remember all the 2013 trucks came out with fun facts so what truck do you guys think this is this is one truck they already did show in the package it is the specter flame stone crusher so in 2010 they did make a specter flame stone crusher but then in 2013 they made another one but this time it is the blue Spectre Flame Stone Crusher. So uh, this is a really cool Spectre Flame. This is one of my most desired Spectre Flame trucks. I love blue Spectre Flames. They're the best. Uh, other than that red um, Spectre Flames Iron Outlaw I got from 2013. That is my all-time favorite Spectre Flame truck. No doubt about it. But uh, there you guys go. That's number three, uh, the Spectre Flames Stone Crusher. All right, let's bring out the next one. All righty, uh, here's the next one. All right, so you have Iron Man. Uh, is this a... Oh, it is a 2012 truck. Okay, so you have Iron Man from 2012. You have the originals derailed when it came out. Uh, no, this was the second year that derailed came out. You have the Safety Clean Black Stallion, the Edge Glow Sudden Impact, uh, the Patriot from 2012, the Patriot. Then you have uh, Team Hot Wheels when it came out with its first design on the teeth on the Ford grill. Uh, looked pretty ugly, but hey, they revamped it up in 2013 you have a uh, spider-man and son of a digger when it first came out in 2012 so what truck do you guys think this is it is the edge glow sudden impact so this is a very sweet truck very sweet truck i realized that you know my camera uh, my camera lighting is kind of dark so i just did this it is the blue edge glow uh, sudden impact a uh, very sweet truck, actually. I realized I'm already at 14 minutes, so I'm probably going to have to speed this up. But uh, there you guys go. Edge Glow Side of Impact, number four. All right, so now uh, I kind of want to say the names of the uh, trucks on the cards, though. Nah, oh well. All right, so here's number five. Uh, this is a 2009 truck. You have uh, Monster Mutt, Avenger, Freedom Force with the hook. Now, there's another truck I need to get, Freedom Force. You have the Shocks Prowler. And the 2009 Shocker. So what truck do you guys think this is? It is the 2009 Shocker. Uh, yeah, Shocker. <laughs> get it? Get it? Because it's Shocker. Okay, whatever. Um, 
Shocker that I actually did not have this shocker from 2009. Yeah, that that was pretty good right there. Uh, oh, this is the plastic base version. Awesome. So, yeah. Uh, there is number five, uh, shocker. I'm going to move the Sour Patch trucks off to the side, and we'll move the other trucks up here. All right, there we go. All right, I'm going to move the camera up just a little bit more. All righty, here's the next one. All right, so this is another 2014 truck. This is uh, when NEA first came out. Then you have the new look for Obsessed, the new look for Blue Thunder, Backdraft Prowler, Aftershock with the new tool, Reptoid. Uh, then you have Tasmanian Devil once again. So what truck do you guys think this is? It is the 2014 Obsessed. Yes, Obsessed. And here's another truck I missed out on in 2014. I remember seeing it on the shelves. I just didn't pick it up for some odd reason. So, you know, I got it back in my I got it back in my collection now. So I'm happy about that. So uh, there's number six, Obsessed. All right. So we'll see this one next. All right. Here's the next one. Uh, what truck is? Uh, 2000. Is this 2011? Yeah, this is 2011. Okay. All right. So you have a 2011 truck. You have Maximum Destruction when it came out with the uh, new tool. All-time favorite Maximum Destruction right there. Spectre Flame's Bone Shaker. There's another Spectre Flame I've been needing to get. Uh, then you have the Blue Thunder with the World Finals 10 and World Finals 11 body. A lot of people hate that body, especially Monster Gem Collector 2007, but hey, I'm actually a big fan of it. Uh, you have Monster Mutt, uh, Mechanical Mischief when it first came out, uh, Prowler, uh, Shark Creek and Covert Crasher. So, uh, what truck do you guys think this is? It is Covert Crasher. Yes. Uh, now, here's another truck I did have in my collection. I remember getting this specifically back in 2011. I love this truck. Uh, do not remember what happened to it, though. You know what? I probably broke it trying to recreate the Monster Jam, you know? So, I finally got it back in my collection, so I'm happy about that. Uh, but there is uh, Covert Crusher, number 24 out of 80 trucks, which were produced back in 2011. And that is number 7 out of 12. Alrighty, uh, let's do this one next. Alrighty, here's the next one. This is another 2009 truck. You have um, American Guardian, Big Hubs. You have Backdraft, Wrecking Crew, The Destroyer, Spectre Flames, El Toro Loco, and Bone Shaker. So, what truck do you guys think this is? It is American Guardian Big Hub. So, yeah, here is another truck that technically y'all did see. I mean, if you can, if you see that eagle, you know, in the blue background, it was laying down like this. But if you see that eagle in the blue background, you know, I mean, you got to know it's American Guardian. So, and it says served. Okay, good. I realized, you know, I want, I went back to look at my small hub American Guardian to see if it was the severed version. No, it was not. It was the served version. So I was happy about that. Well, there you guys go. Big Hub's American Guardian, number 34 out of 75 from 2009. All right. And that was number eight. All right. Here is number nine. This is another 2004 truck. Uh, I already said the names of these trucks on the back. So uh, what truck do you guys think this is? It is the 2004 Hot Wheels Big Hub. Yeah, here's another uh, Big Hub truck I've been needing to get. Uh, this Hot Wheels. I love this Hot Wheels, actually. This is number 41 from 2004. So, how about that? But there is Hot Wheels number... Uh, I think that's number 8. Did I already say that? 1, 2, eight, two 4, 6, 8. No, that was number 9. Alright, so uh, let's do... Let's do this one. All right, so this will be number 10. This is a 2007 truck, so how about that? 2007 was another great year for uh, Monster Jam. Uh, you have, I'll just say the names of these trucks quickly. You have Grave Digger, you have the World Finals, uh, Chrome Avenger, Maximum Destruction with the, the Lava Body, uh, the Maroon El Toro Loco, the 25th Anniversary Grave Digger, the Hot Wheels with the Gold Rims, Cowboy, Iron Outlaw, Monster Mutt, Dalmatian, Pastrana 199, uh, the Red Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Superman, Batman, Gunslinger, R.I.P. Scott Hartsock. I still cannot believe that he died. Uh, you have uh, Bounty Hunter, uh, you have Patrick the MJ fan, and Predator, uh, the Destroyer, and Taz. So what truck do you guys think this is? It is tough enough, and oh, thank the Lord. All right, I've been, 
I've been trying to th think to myself if this was going to be the metal based version of this Tough Enough, and it is, so thank the Lord for that. Uh, this is the Turquoise Tough Enough with the Wristline Racing uh, sponsor. Uh, there, here's another truck I've been meaning to get. I don't know what the heck is on the card, but yeah, this is another 2007 truck I've been meaning to get, but, you know, I've been... I just haven't got it, and it's number 40 from 2007, so that was number 10. Number 10 out of 12, actually. And we're already at 20 minutes. All right, I got to keep on speeding this up. All right, let's do this one next. All right, here's number 11. We got one more truck to go after this one. This is another 2011 truck, I think. No, this is 2012. Yeah, this is 2012. Okay. All right, so you have... Oh, wow, this is another one from this case with the blue edge go full board. Uh, you have... Oh, no, wait. What was the other 2012 truck? Was it this one? Oh, okay. All right. It was this one. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, so you have the uh, Old Tool Edge Glow Stone Crusher. Uh, then you have uh, Western Renegade. Uh, then you have Aftershock when it first came out in 2012. I have this truck uh, mint on card. You have Monster Mutt. The Blue Edge Glow Full Bore. Man, I wish it was this truck, but it's not. I'll tell you that for sure. Then you have the Safety Clean Black Stallion. Then you have the uh, this edition of Bad Habit uh, with the new deco. And then you have Brutus, one of the big fan favorites. So uh, what truck do you guys think this is? It is the Safety Clean Black Stallion. And this was when Gravedigger was celebrating its 30th anniversary. Uh, the 40th anniversary body this year on Gravedigger. I'm glad that they added the purple beadlocks, but other than a sticker... What is this? I mean, like, literally. But uh, you got the Safety Clean Black Stallion. Now, here's another truck I've uh, been, I've been wanting to get. But, um, you know, I finally came across this lot that was selling a lot of trucks that I wanted to get. So, you know, I got it. Uh, I got it for a decent price as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, Safety Clean Black Stallion. Pretty sweet. And that's number 11. And now let's do number 12 out of 12. Alrighty, here it is. Alrighty, so this is a truck from 2010, the best year of Hot Wheels Monster Jam. You have the Spectre Flames Wrecking Crew. I already have that truck. Uh, the Mud Tracks Match. <laughs> what the heck did I say? I don't know. The the Mud Treads Maximum Destruction. You have Airborne Ranger, the Mud Treads Blue Thunder, and Taz. So, uh, what truck do you guys think this is? It is the Mud Treads Maximum Destruction. Now, here is another truck from 2010. I've been wanting to get for quite some time. But, you know, some of these, uh, you know, I've seen some listings of this truck, but they're going for like $20, $25 for this truck, you know. And once I saw in this lot with, a, with some trucks that I've been wanting to get, you know, I had to pick it up. So, the Mud Treads Maximum Destruction. I'm glad to finally have this truck in my collection, y'all. So, uh, there you guys go. Um, right now, I'll see if I can try to, you know, get all the trucks to fit in frame. That's probably not going to happen. I'll just go, like, three wide. Or could I go four wide? Yeah, I'll go four wide, actually. Yeah. Alrighty, y'all. So, that was this uh, next eBay purchase. Uh, buying 12 uh, Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks. The next video will probably be uh, me unboxing the 12 trucks. So, uh, make sure to crush that like button if you guys like this video. Why not consider subscribing? It is 100% free, and you guys can always undo it. We are on the road to 800 subscribers right now. And also, y'all can follow me on Instagram at MonsterJamFan0311. You guys get exclusive content on stuff that I am going to post. Forgot about the Patriot. Uh, but you guys do get exclusive content on stuff that I am going to post. And you get to reserve trucks for Monster Jam sign-up series and points competitions. Um, I'm going to move the uh, tripod back just a little bit more. There we go. Uh, but you guys do get exclusive content of stuff that I am going to post. It is always worth it, you guys, but I don't force you guys to. The link for my Instagram is always down in my description. I highly encourage you guys to check out my description. Uh, I do post some key information in there from time to time. So, yeah, this was another very successful eBay purchase. Oh, yeah, can't forget about the Sour Patch. So, uh, there you guys go. So, like I said, the next video will probably be me unboxing all these uh, trucks. So, uh, yeah, be on the lookout for that video, and this is Monster Jam Fan 0311, signing out.